trials in in Lincoln, Nebraska, June 9th and 10th. Gilman to Shazer right away. Gilman with a shot. Goes flat to his belly to Shazer front head. Shazer definitely going to try to capitalize on his athleticism in this match. Both guys, there's a double leg, elbow pass double leg by DeShazer, and he finishes it. He's going to get to two point takedown. Great double leg from DeShazer. Nasty. So explosive. Pass that elbow right in on the shot. Not looking for a gut. And we'll go up on our feet. Two minutes, eight seconds left here in the first period. DeShazer and Gilman. DeShazer, huge 57 kilo guy. He is a monster at this weight. Absolutely. Tight on that elbow is DeShazer. Gilman picking up the hand fight. Yes. And we get a break in the action. Little duck attempt from DeShazer. Nothing brewing there. Big snap from Gilman, comes underhook left side. Gilman with that underhook, tie over the head. Another big snap from Gilman. Fakes from DeShazer. DeShazer with a little Big smile on his face. Here, and now things might start to get chippy. The Shazer versus Iowa is the rivalry. So we got a minute, three left on the clock here. Vice gripping headlock, headlock to Shazer, big headlock. Wow, wow. Incredible throw by DeShazer. Vice grip for Gilman, and he goes right back to his underhook. 6-0 is a score right now for DeShazer. Gilman locked up the vice grip, but like I was saying earlier, DeShazer, known for the headlock, launches Gilman. I wasn't ready for that, Mark. I told you about it. I warned you. You did. I didn't listen. 20 left on the clock here. Shot from space by Gilman. Another shot. Gilman now to that patented knee pull. Brings it up to the single leg. Looks to finish it on the edge. Still nothing. Breaks it flat. Short time here. One. And that's it. One point. They award one point to Gilman. Our clock was not right there. There's one point left. There was one second left on the clock on the edge. And they gave Gilman the point, confirmed it. Gilman needs to come out here strong. He needs to be careful for the Shazer's re-attacks and he's he on his attack. attack. Morning Star and McDonough in the corner. See Mark Perry near. Newest coach of the Hawkeye Wrestling Club. Zach Sanders in the corner, Minnesota Storm. We're getting going 6-1 right now. The Shazer and Gilman. Right away with the fingers. Underhook there for Gilman, snaps it down. Gilman picking up his hand fight, but DeShazer tries to get back to that double leg. And now, hand fight is really starting to pick up for Gilman. And another whistle. 
warning for DeShazer. <clears throat> Shot by Gilman. Brings it up to his feet, looking to come behind. And he's gonna get two on the edge, and he does. Two confirmed. So now it's 6-3, and Gilman's starting to kind of fire back. DeShazer slow to the center. Gilman just waiting. And the trainer coming out. Gilman sporting Daniel Dennis a singlet once again. The Shays are getting getting worked on a little bit by the trainer. Gilman just waiting in the center. Starting to pace now. It looks like they're doing a wrap on DeShazer's ankle. Taping up that ankle. Shazer back to his feet. And Gilman just waiting in the center. 6-3 here. We're back to action. Gonna be exciting. Gilman gonna be on the six, attack. 6-3 is the score. I had 6-4 on the scoreboard. 6-3. Shot there from Gilman. Half shot, big snap from DeShazer. Yes. Shot there, another shot. And we get another whistle. First warning for DeShazer. Shot there from Gilman. And he's looking to go nice behind, shot. gets to the single leg, and Nico's out on the mat, and that makes it 6-5. Thomas Gilman, just like that, brings himself back into this thing. He needs, oh, he's already got the two. Looking for that turn. Knee touched earlier. Looking for that turn is Gilman, and we're gonna go back up on our feet. Only down by one is Thomas Gilman. A lot of time left on the clock. Shot there from Gilman. DeShazer's got him in a front head now. Oh, that's his position too. This is where DeShazer wants to be. Ooh, he went pinched for a second, and we'll go back up on our feet. The Shays are looking, he's not liking that ankle. Shot there, looks like there's a singlet hold in there. Gilman's pushing the pace. Gilman Got with an underhook now, left. Gilman trying to get back to the, and this is where you want to be if he's De, if DeShazer right in this front head. He's up 6-5, and that clock can't tick enough if you're DeShazer. Another score would be nice for him. But he's real, real heavy on that one ankle. Looks like it's in a lot of pain, and right away, Gilman shoots back to that left leg again. Brings it up in the air, looking to go behind. And he drives him off, still nothing, and they give the two. So Thomas Gilman takes the 7-6 lead. Two red confirmed, 38 seconds left on the clock. DeShazer's not happy. He wants a challenge from his coaches, maybe even a little breather. DeShazer making his way back to the center slowly. 7-6. 30 seconds left. 7-6 Gilman, 30 ticks left on the clock. 
See if late match magic from DeShazer. 20 seconds left. Shot there from DeShazer, nothing. Snaps. There's a double leg. Gilman gets off it. Now Gilman with the underhook. 10 seconds left. Little scoop Five there. Seconds. Tried to go duck under, and it doesn't look like he's going to be able to get to him. And Thomas Gilman he fends off it. the early headlock. Gets the W and returns to action here. Gets the win, and he's going to move on, and he will earn a spot at the trial.